Hello, my name is King Mister, and welcome to another video. Where today, I'm gonna show you some Halloween build hacks. Ooh, spooky. So, before we begin the video, um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and share the video if you want, of course. Um, as that would really help a lot, and let's get started with the video. So, before we start, I don't like this type of atmosphere. Let me do something really quick to maybe make it better and more spoopy. Wow, um, that's much better. Now anyways, let's get started with the video. With our very first hack being a sp spooky jail cell. Which is this. Now, this is made very simply by placing some skulls on the ground to add some, like, you know, deadness, you know, to make it more creepy. Also, you can also use this block of raw iron to make it a very dusty cobblestone. You know, it's been here for ages, and to me, that's kind of spooky. At least to me. But anyways, that's the end of this hack. Let's move on to the next one. This hack is very simple. You just take a pumpkin, and a candle, or, you see pickle, a candle of green, brown, or light green. And you basically put it on top to add some body stem to it. It's a really simple hack. You can do this with green candles, white, brown candles, light green candles, and sea pickles. A very simple hack. You should probably do it. Also, also, you can get some shears and put a little face on it. Like this. And like that. And that's the hack here. So, on to the next hack. So, this hack here is um, kind of not that prominent, but it's it's this. This small little creepy eye thing. I'll show you how to make it. Basically, it's very simple. All you need is a slab of whatever kind. I use um, this, this copper slab because it matches with the grass kind of well. Well, it can't get perfect. But you take that and then take some coral, a coral fan, and an item frame, an item frame, an item vendor, and a bucket of water. Now what you do here is you take the slab, put it in on the top part of the block, and then you right click with a one bucket, then you play, then you place down your item frame, your eye of ender, and then you place the coral fan on top of the slab. And you get this little creepy type of thing here. It's very creepy and it's lovely. It will definitely bring some spookiness to your garden. Also, you can add some various things like potted, potted with the roses, candles, and other types of stuff to make your garden path really spooky. On to the next one. This next stack is actually very simple. You only really need one block, mainly. I mean, 
does go into other blocks, but this half is using the Grimstone block. Yes, I know that it's called Deep Slate now, but I still like calling it Grimstone. If you don't like it, I'm sorry by the name. But anyways, that's the point of the video. Let's get back into it. Basically, this block definitely brings some spooky vibes to it, so just using this block definitely will make your build very spooky. But anyways, that's the end of this hack. It's a very small one, but it's a very creepy one too. Let's move on to the next one. So, this next hack is also very simple. It only really contains a few components, but the thing is, it definitely brings some spooky creepiness too. Like it looks like eyes peering at you from the bush. It's kind of creepy to me. I'll show you how to do it. Basically, you take your leaves and then you sign. on how to do special characters but I'll do a basic one for this video so basically grab your bush and simple way and place leaves together as this is a very really basic showcase I'll only do it like this it's a really basic showcase Basically, do that. Take the other leaf and move it. Then you take your sign and you place it on the leaves. Now, you will probably need special characters to do this type of hack, just to, you know. But you can still do this hack with the regular types of characters. But basically, you need to look online for like special characters. You can copy and paste onto a sign in Minecraft. Very simple. Control Control V, Control C, and then you get it on the sign. But anyways, let me show you how to do this. Basically, take your thing, and then you basically make some eyes. That's all you need. Then you dye it red, and then the special part is using this glowing sack, which is very useful for spooky things that you want to glow. Basically do that, and boom. You instantly get a very creepy thing peering at you from a bush. I really like this sack, and I wanted to share it. So, that's the end of this hack. Let's move on to the next one. So this next hack is um, a hole to a place I can't actually say because I'm because um, YouTube. <laughs> but I'll call it heck. Let's call it heck. Basically, to do this hack, I've actually shown this hack in a previous build hacks video. I'll probably show it in an I card in the corner of this video, you click it, and then it takes you there. It takes you to the back. Basically, you take some glass, you take your light material, let's use, um, you need a carpet too. Um, let's use this, a shroom light. And then basically, you go and you layer it like this. Your light, two layers of carpet, and then a lot of layers of glass. And you can alternate between two layer, two empty layers in between, and one empty layer. It's best to do like the 
lot of variation so that you get a lot of depth into there. But this hat basically brings like a frog type of effect, which is kind of spooky to me. And of course, here we've got um, the hat we showed you previously, and the other, uh, other hats as well. Then we got some black stone, which kind of brings like a charred effect. That up brings the heckish effect that you may need in your spooky build. There's some magma blocks as well. You can also probably mix some like stuff to put in here so it adds some more depth to it. But it's a very simple hack here. That's the end of the hack here. On to the next one. Yeah. So, this next tag is actually something to do with a graveyard. And how to add some things to it to make it sort of creepy. You can add the dead coral to, you know, bring some dead plants into here. You can add wither roses, of course. You can add black candles, which definitely bring like a spooky type of thing to it. Because I do thing is, um, black candles to me bring like a spooky element to Minecraft and I love that type of element. You can also bring some cobwebs. Of course sometimes you can give some bats too. However, as this is a super flat world, of course there's gonna be bats. And of course, um, to add like dimension to this, you can also basically have some graves be open and stuff. Hmm. I don't remember this grave being open. Hmm. Did someone move a body or something? Ah! No. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it, please. No. Please, no!